Welcome back to Plan B on YouTube. Today we talk about the official start of the Bitcoin bull market, the red dot. So let's go straight to the charts. By the way, please subscribe to this channel because it really helps me with getting more views. First chart, stock to flow. Bitcoin closed February uh, at 61K. That's just below the October 21 uh, all-time high the close of uh, that month and, and and that's a bit unfortunate because that that decline was uh, just in the last hours of trading but uh, but anyway we had the largest monthly increase in dollar terms of almost 20k dollars in one month and more importantly it's above or at the stock to flow model line right now so stock to flow is back um and and i would say let's break this model to the upside right now i i mean it's a bit of a joke a lot of people were um, um, hating on the stock to flow model because it was on the downside right when the prices were low in 2022 um they said the model is broken the model is invalidated we had that before uh, right here in uh, 2019 and 2020 but always after the price has been below the model, it has gone above the model and far above the model sometimes. So that's what I'm hoping for. In fact, that's what I'm expecting, that we're going to break the stock to flow model on the upside after the halving. And um, well, we have two more dots to go, two more blue dots until the halving, a March dot and an April dot. And uh, this is uh, also a good time to point out the color axis. Um, it's months until the halving in this chart. And it can be anything, of course. I, I use anything, RSI or, or uh, whatever. But in this chart, it's months until the halving. So that's two more months, two more red dots, and then it switches uh, two more blue dots, and then it switches to red, like you see here at the 2012 halving here. 2016 halving and here in the 2020 halving we will have a halving in april so what's next yeah well i think um if you look historically after the halving the price went up but with a little bit of a delay and i ex expect that as well in 2024 so we will have price rises we will have a bull market but don't ex I don't expect a top in this year, in 2024. I expect the top to be in 2025. So also note the log scale on this chart. The prices go 10x every time from $1 to $10, $100, $1,000. So a lot of people misread this chart and they think that if a uh, value is right here for example they think it's it's linear uh, in between so they think this is 700 or even higher value it's not it's 500,000 and you, you can see that here that's why I put this these micro grid in there as well so this is 100,000 200,000 300,000 four this is 500,000 so it's, it's not evenly spaced because it's a logarithmic scale um, well, one more thing. Last cycle, we saw a little dip just before the halving. And that, of course, was the March 2020 COVID dip. It was a black swan. Uh, I don't think we'll have that again. But, uh, well, anything can happen. But, yeah, uh, I don't think it will. And last cycle was, of course, relatively low because of this bad start. But also because of the China ban that erased 50% of the mining capacity um, because of Luna um, and because of the FTX exchange debacle. So we had a really bad cycle uh, last time. So it's very interesting to see what's, what will happen next. I expect next cycle to be more normal and maybe um, a bit higher. Uh, to make up for this relatively low cycle that we had. Uh, very interesting. We'll see. Next chart.
This is the chart that got very much attention on Twitter. I think it's one of my two favorite charts next to the uh, sector flow chart. Big news, big news here, red dot. So what we see in this chart is the stock flow price again on a logarithmic scale. And the colors, note the color axis is different right now. It's uh, not the months until the next halving, it's the phase. So it can be the accumulation phase, blue, we've been there. It can be the bull market, can be distribution, can be bear market. So we see a phase switch change right now. And uh, we go from the accumula accumulation phase, which is over right now. There's no more um, steady growth, easy buying, etc. No, we go to the bull market. So there will be face melting FOMO, extreme price pumps, uh, and also multiple minus 30% dips. A lot of people ask what I mean by that. Well, if we look at, for example, the uh, 2017 all time high, which is more typical than the one in 2020 and 21, we saw multiple, I think five or six minus 30% dips in there, but then big pumps after that. So it will be, if, if you've never experienced a bull market, it will really be uh, face melting and, and scary at some times, but uh, well, we have a lot of uh, things going on. Narrative is uh, ETF at the moment, of course. We saw 500 million inflow in uh, in the ETFs in one day, and that caused a 5% uh, price pump in Bitcoin. Uh, there's lots more inflow into the ETFs coming, so uh, that promises a lot more price increases as well. And there might be... in. The rest of the year in 2025, sovereign fund uh, and nation state adoption. Who knows what's next? It will be very surprising. It will be extreme. So what will I do? And what will I suggest you do is just sit back and relax, enjoy the ride. And most importantly, don't panic at the first minus 30% dip. A lot of people will say, oh, this was it. The bull market's over. We'll, we'll go to zero now. No, it's just a high volatility, uh, double digit dip in a bull market. And um, so, yeah, that, that's it. Um, I'll be probably, uh, we'll be probably watching at Red Dots for the next half year, year, one and a half year, um, until the yellow debt comes, but we don't have to worry about that uh, anytime soon. Next chart, RSI, RSI is the Relative Strength Index. Uh, technical analysis indicator, very standard, but I like it a lot. It's 73 right now, which is really high. So normally the range of RSI is between 30 and 70 for a stock stock market, for example, or, or a foreign exchange market. So it would be really overbought at the moment. For Bitcoin, the bull markets are much higher than 70%. They can be as high as 100%. 90%, 95%. So what I say is uh, there's two more uh, blue dots to go. Um, this, this blue dot is relatively high because normally just before the halving, it will be uh, the RSI will be 55 or 65 or, or even 70, but above 70 is um, really high. So it could normalize a bit to below 70. It could just go on because this will be a relatively high um bull market and cycle compared to this relatively low uh, bull market and cycle that we just had um yeah we, we we don't we don't know but please note this if the rsi is above 50 it's an uptrend so and below 50 is a downtrend so anything above 50 means the price the general trend of the price goes up so 17 70 is really high. We, it means steep slope um, and, and price going up steeply. But even at 65 or 60, price will go up. So it's, uh, yeah. Anyway, the, the future looks bright. 200 week moving average. It's the black line. Never mind the gray line. That's the geometric uh, moving average in, instead of the... Uh, uh, the normal moving average, I use it for other things. But the, So we're looking at the black line. The black line is at 
32,000 right now. And what we see is that the Bitcoin price is above that at 61 and it's diverging from that line. And that's that's what it did every time in history after the halving, just before the halving, it diverges into this bull market and then collapses back. But as long as it's diverging, it will never touch that 200 mo uh, week moving average, uh, which is right now 32K. So you could see that as a sort of floor, a bottom. Um, and if we look at the realized price, which is the all the Bitcoin, the average price of all the Bitcoins. So where are all the Bitcoins uh, out there? The on-chain Bitcoins, 19 million. Where, where are they bought? At what price? And what's the average? That's right now at 25 thousand and the two-year realized price is at 37,000 and the five-month realized price also known as the short-term hotler price is 49,000 so they're all rising they're all going up and Bitcoin is above all the realized price all the cost prices so um, that's the signature of a bull market everybody is in profit and like the 200 week moving average, in my opinion, no guarantees, but in my opinion, in a bull market, we will never drop below that short term holder five month realized price. You can see it here, these, all these minus 30% dips that we will see, in the end, we will not go uh, on a monthly close, I should say, not go below that, that light blue line below that five month uh, realized price which is right now 49k so maybe that means we're not going below 49k ever again next chart realized return uh that's the coins that are sold the bitcoins that are sold in february uh, and all uh, all those sellers uh, they sold at a profit of 63% red. It's funny because last month in the video, we talked about that we were waiting for a 40% orange uh, realized return and that it might be happening after the halving. So we're seeing it now before the halving, a red dot, more than 60% profit by those sellers and that is also a clear signal of the bull market last chart bitcoin in profit and not surprising almost everybody is in profit at current prices only the people that bought at the all-time high in in october uh, 2021 are uh, maybe in, in, in loss, and that's, that's only uh, 175,000 coins, by the way. So that's really low. Everybody else, that's more than 99%, is in profit, which means that there's not much uh, fear in the market anymore. Everybody's uh, looking at profits and is, 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 is happy. Um, and, and of course, if, if, if red starts, then the red, red will continue. If a bull market starts, it will not um it will it, it, it will not end tomorrow or next month it's a it's a, a trend it's a uh yeah force that will continue and is not stopped easily so red will continue and that will bring very interesting times ahead okay please subscribe to this channel because it really helps me with getting more views